What's up guys, welcome back. I hope you're in the mood for comfort food because today I have an absolute classic recipe on the menu. I'll be showing you how to make red beans and rice. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's go over all these ingredients. As you can see here, we have the Cajun Trinity, which is comprised of bell pepper, celery, and onion. And of course we have our andouille sausage for the pork patrol out there. You can use chicken or beef. We also have a smoked turkey leg right here you can use ham hock or turkey legs turkey wings turkey necks whatever you find at the store and of course the star of the show we have one pound of red beans that we soaked in water overnight in the refrigerator now it's time to get our prep work out of the way i'm going to chop the top off of these bell peppers as you can see here i have one red and one green you guys know i traditionally do this just for presentation adds a nice little bit of color to the party but you can use either or totally up to you we're going to cut them into bite-sized pieces, though. Whatever works best for you, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just try to make sure that all your vegetables are about the same size. That way they cook at the same rate and they all get nice and tender together. As you can see here, we have our peppers prepped. We're going to go ahead and move on to the celery here in just a second. Real quick reminder, guys, that all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. And last but not least, we're going to dice up one yellow onion or white onion. Whatever you have is just fine. I prefer to get all of my prep work out of the way, as you see here. That way things move a lot more efficiently in the kitchen. Nothing worse than stopping what you're doing to dice up an onion. So I like to get all of this out of the way up front. And that brings us to our andouille sausage. Again, guys, if you don't eat pork, you use chicken or beef. They sell both varieties at most grocery stores, or you can order it online. Andouille sausage has some nice smoky flavor, a little bit of spice. I'm a huge fan of using this, as you can tell by my videos. Plus, it's very common in a lot of Cajun Creole recipes like this one we're doing today. We're going to go ahead and chop the sausage into bite-sized pieces. That way, it gets good color and caramelization when we add it to our Dutch oven. There we go. We got our sausage prepped, all our veggies prepped. And now, my friends, it's time to get to cooking. So we're going to fire up our Dutch oven over medium heat. We're going to add about a tablespoon or so of avocado oil or whatever oil you prefer. And the first guest to arrive to the party, is the andouille sausage this is going to be the foundation of flavor for this recipe we really want to allow this some time to render its fat and flavor into the bottom of this dutch oven so after a few minutes on medium heat you can see the sausage is starting to release some of that fat and flavor now it's time to go in with our cajun trinity which again is onion bell pepper and celery Still working over medium heat, we're going to allow those veggies to sweat down and get nice and tender for us they're going to soak up all that flavor from the andouille sausage now we're going in with about a tablespoon or so of garlic paste. You can use fresh garlic or minced garlic. Also going in with some dried oregano. Fresh oregano would work here as well. Use whatever you have on hand. You just want to get that flavor in there. We're going in with some fresh thyme, some smoked paprika. Another quick reminder, guys, that all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below. Here we're going in with about a teaspoon or so of low sodium chicken base from Better Than Bouillon. No, they're not a sponsor, but they absolutely should be. I've definitely boosted their stock a little bit over the years. At this point, guys, your house is going to be smelling absolutely amazing. We got all the flavor in the world in this Dutch oven, and we're going to add a little bit more by adding this hot AP seasoning. If you haven't tried that yet, you can get yours via the link in my bio. We've got some good cayenne pepper and some jalapeno powder in there. We're also going in with some Cajun or Creole seasoning. Use whatever you prefer. We've dried our beans off or drained them off, and now we're going to add them to the party now as well. You want to mix that around, give that time to soak up some of that flavor. Red beans and rice has got to be one of the most criminally underrated recipes or dishes in the world. This is so big on flavor, so easy to make, and it comes together pretty inexpensively. Let me know in the comments what one of your favorite comfort food meals is, and I'll add that to my list to make for you. So as you can see, we've added the smoked turkey leg. That could be a ham hock or a turkey neck or pork neck. Whatever you want to use, any smoked meat will work here. And then we're going to cover that with some chicken stock or water, whatever you prefer to use. You can use low sodium chicken broth if that's your thing. You're trying to cut back on sodium, no big deal. We're going to bring that up to a boil and stir everything together. Make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom or to the sides. Then we're going to add in two bay leaves. Give that a good mix. And then we're going to cover this with a lid and let that roll for an hour or two. You want to check on it periodically just to make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom. Make sure you have enough liquid in the pot. And really, guys, we're looking for two things right now. We want to make sure those beans are super tender, and then we want to make sure that that meat is falling off the bone of that smoked turkey leg. So just give that a good mix. Again, make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom. We don't want anything to burn. We want to make sure that those beans are absorbing all that delicious flavor. You can kind of taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference as well. As you can see, things have reduced quite a bit. The beans are getting nice and tender. That smoked turkey leg is looking beautiful. I'm going to mash these beans on the side or the wall of our Dutch oven just to show how tender they are. 
Now it's time to fetch out those bay leaves because nobody wants to eat those. We're gonna shred this meat right off the bone, add a little bit of that to the party because why the hell not? Nothing like some good smoked turkey legs. As you can see, the meat is just falling right off the bone. That's exactly what we wanna see. The beans are tender, the meat is tender. I'm getting hungry. It's almost time to plate this up. We're in the home stretch, my friends. Can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. It's absolutely packed with flavor. Perfect comfort food meal as it's cold everywhere right now. We just got some snow here in Virginia. Hope you guys are staying nice and warm. If not, this meal will certainly warm you up. Good for the spirit. We're gonna go ahead and shred up all that smoked turkey meat. Make sure that they're in nice bite-sized pieces like everything else. This is the perfect amount of liquid for me. I'm gonna go ahead and give everything a good mix, taste and adjust the flavor as needed. I also like to get in there with a potato masher and mash up those beans. It's gonna give me a nice thick consistency. This step is totally optional. It really depends on the consistency that you like for yours. But for me, I like to mash half of them up and leave the other half of the beans kind of whole. You'll see the consistency here in just a second. It thickens up almost like a stew. Oh man, that's beautiful. Say it with me guys, looking good. Only thing missing is the white rice. I wish I had some cornbread for this as well. That would make things absolutely perfect. There you have it folks, there is the red beans. And now my friends, it's time to boil some rice. Super easy, bring your water up to a boil. We're gonna add one cup of rice, mix that in with a fork, then we're gonna cover the lid, put it to low, and just let it simmer for 20 minutes and you have perfect rice. Once you have that perfect rice, we're gonna use this ramekin or bowl, spoon that in there with a little vegetable spray just to make sure nothing sticks. I'm gonna use this for presentation purposes so we have that nice, beautiful mound of white rice right in the center of our red beans and rice. Oh man, I can't wait to dig into this. I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Once we have our white rice in the bowl, we're gonna add that right here like so. It comes right out nice and easy. You have that beautiful mound right in the middle. And now my friends, it's time for the star of the show. You can see all that smoked turkey, the andouille sausage, just tons of flavor in this bowl. Now that, my friends, is a bowl of comfort food. I'm gonna add some fresh chopped green onion for a pop of color, get the thumbnail, and then I'm going in for the taste test. All I need is my spoon. Oh man, look at that. I can't wait to get in there. Let's go in for the taste test, see what we got. You guys know this is a spoon drop recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you give your boy a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.